video 2 evolution of software in this video we are going to take a look at how and what drove cloud computing to become such a buzzword can you take a guess what is in this picture this is the picture of a mainframe the machine is more than 30 years old this huge machine has a CPU of just 52 Hertz and had only 1.7 kilobytes of RAM. Technology has moved so fast, phones today have millions times faster clock speed and many million times more storage compared to these old machines. If you look around and compare this with things like cars, building, etc., we have not improved a million times in any of these areas. Most companies had their corporate IT infrastructure on mainframes until early 2000s. Mainframes were how companies installed and ran their applications. There were a lot of drawbacks, but they also had some advantages. There are two main components of your software, your data and your application. In mainframes, both your data and your applications were on the same machine. You had a lot of dumb terminals all over where you can log in and access your application. For example, you're using some word processing application and working on some document on one of the dumb terminals. After finishing a part of the document, you had to leave. When you return, you could use a different terminal. This was fine because no data was stored on the terminal itself, it was stored in the mainframe. So no matter where you logged in, the data and the application was always there. The second advantage was that a mainframe was a single point of management. So let's say that you required a word processor, all you had to do was install it on the mainframe and all the users would get it. If you had 20 dumb terminals, all you had to do is to install on the main terminal and all these 20 dumb terminals would get the software. So the main advantages are data and applications were on the same mainframe, software management was centralized, same vendor provided both hardware and software, mainframe providers were responsible for everything. They gave you both the hardware and the software and they handle the maintenance. For a corporate, IT management was easier. Then, from mainframes, we entered into the PC era. PCs brought with them huge advantages. PCs provided the ability to give a person his own isolated computing resources, which allowed them to work independently. Unlike mainframes, where there was a lot of contention for resources, here resources were not shared. So if a person was doing something very CPU intensive on the mainframe, other people on the mainframes would get affected. This issue got solved by PCs as everyone had their own dedicated processing capacity. But with the advantages came the problems. Now your data and applications were no longer centralized. Now let's say you had to install word processing application you had to go to each one of the computers and install the software let's say you started writing a document on one of the servers and then you log out for lunch you had to log back in into the same machine to continue editing your document you cannot just log into any machine and get your document thus your application and your data are bounded by the PC and are no longer centralized. PC manufacturers and soft manufacturers became independent. In the mainframe days, they both were provided by the same company. This resulted in IT manager having to manage both the hardware and the software. If something fails on the software side, he would have to call the software vendor and if something fails on the hardware side, he would have to call the hardware vendor. PCs made software into a product. Software was now sold on CDs. Microsoft made a fortune doing just that, selling software on CDs. So from being centralized in the mainframe world, software became a product in the PC world. The client is now responsible for managing the software. So from the PC era, we have moved on to the current era, which is mostly called post 
PC era. One of the characteristics of post PC is the range of devices. Microsoft's golden statement many years ago was one PC in every home and Microsoft products on each PC. Is that true anymore? Not really. Every home has multiple computers, a desktop, a laptop, a couple of smartphones, tablets, etc. Another characteristic of post PC era is that everything is connected. About 10 years back, it took some effort to get onto the internet on your phones, but today it's pretty much everywhere. In most countries, it is now impossible to imagine a place without network connectivity. 3G networks and Wi-Fi's are everywhere. There are a lot of devices connected at all the time. So the problem of disjoint data and applications where your application and data are not centralized is severely compounded. Let's say you are writing a document on your tablet. You reach your office and now you want the same document on your office machine. Because we use so many devices and because we want our applications to be usable all the time, we need data and application to be centralized. This is why a lot of companies realized this requirement and started providing hosted applications where they are providing your applications and data in the same location like Google Docs, Salesforce, etc. I'm sure you all know about Google Docs. You don't have to download any software. It is totally online. If you want to start writing a document, you go to docs.google.com, write a document, and it's automatically saved on Google server. On your next device, when you sign in, you will still see the document that you are editing. So if you have 10 devices and the data is centralized, you can use the data from any of the devices as long as you have the right credentials to access the data. So products like Google Docs started revolutionizing the markets. As hosted products like Google Docs started gaining a lot of traction, a lot of people started moving to Google Docs. Companies like Microsoft, which had Office sold on CDs, were forced to launch similar products and Microsoft launched something called Office 365, which is also a hosted solution shortly afterwards. So not everyone wants to provide hosted solutions willingly, but because a competitor is doing it, they might also be forced to do it. Slowly but surely, what is happening for the market is that software is becoming a service. Providers are hosting their applications and we are accessing it via browsers. So we are making a full turn. In the age of internet, we have clients, each with multiple devices, vendors are providing hosted solutions. Applications running on hardware of the provider. Google Docs is not running on your machine. You are just starting a browser editing the document running on Google servers. When you save the data, the data is saved on the Google servers. Google hosts both the software and the data. So, in today's world, when most companies develop software, to be relevant, they have to provide software as a hosted service. This creates additional challenges for the companies, as we will see in the next section. In this video, we talked about how software started from being centralized to becoming a product and now in the cloud computing era has become a service again. In the next video, we'll take a look at traditional IT infrastructure needed to deploy a hosted application such as Google Docs and issues one faces in doing so.